In this example, we will use the remainder theorem to find the remainder when 4x cubed minus 3x plus 6 is divided by first x plus 2 and then followed by 2x minus 1. Okay, so first step, what do you do? Uh, we always let fx equals to 4x cubed minus 3x plus 6. Okay, this will help us a lot in our presentation of the answers and make us uh, make things a lot easier for us to do the substitution. So since we know that we are going to be divided, uh, this, this fx is going to be divided by x plus 2, and therefore you know that you have to substitute in x equals to negative 2, isn't it? So by using the remainder theorem, we put in x equals to negative 2, okay, we will get 4 multiplied by negative 2 raised to the power of 3, minus 3 multiplied by negative 2 plus 6. Okay, from a calculator, this shouldn't be difficult at all. Um, this should be gi uh, will, will be giving you a value of negative 8. Negative 8 multiplied by 4 will give us a value of negative 32 here. And this becomes a positive 6 plus 6. Okay, so using a calculator or mentally, I, I suppose you should be able to work this out very easily. Negative 20. So what this tells us is that, well, the remainder when fx is divided by x plus 2 is negative 20. Okay, so this is part A of the question. Alright, let's take a look at part B of the question. Same, alright, similar. We have the same fx, okay, but now we're going to be divided by 2x minus 1. So when divided by 2x minus 1, it means that we have to substitute in x equals to 1 over 2, which is half. Okay. Now, some of you may be a little puzzled, um, you know, as to how I decide what um, to substitute in. Well, very simple, isn't it? Um, based on uh, what we have talked about earlier on, is that um, we try to make this divisor into a zero. Okay. So, how to make this into a zero is when x is equal to negative two. How do we make this into a zero? Is when x is equal to positive half, right? positive half times 2 will give me a 1, 1 minus 1 will give me a 0. So, all we have to do is substitute in x equals to half, okay, and we will get 4 half raised to the power of 3 minus away 3 multiplied by half plus 6, and that will give us a value of, um, this is 4 over 8, that will give, it, give us half minus 3 over 2 plus 6, and of course, um, this will give us a value of 5. Okay, what this means is that the remainder is 5 when fx is divided by 2x minus 1.